This is Witchspace News for Friday the 21st of August 2020 I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news Odyssey Dev Diary No. 1 The Frontier Odyssey Livestream The AXI and Commander Exegius are running new competitions. If you enjoyed this video remember to hit thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. As announced last week the much anticipated initial developer diary for the upcoming Odyssey expansion was released on Tuesday. It had been assumed that the diary would be dropping at the same time as the Discovery Scanner livestream on Tuesday evening but to everyone's surprise it actually dropped at 1pm UTC. With the actual content and features of the Odyssey expansion largely unknown still, anticipation for what we were about to be shown was running at an all time high and as I said last week the first significant drop about Odyssey was an opportunity for Frontier to make a splash and really start the hype train rolling and get the community fired up and talking after a rough couple of years. The Odyssey announcement trailer that was released a couple of months ago on top of the release of fleet carriers gave us our first in engine renders of player characters and atmospheric worlds at ground level. The developer diary gave us a further look at those atmospheric worlds in engine with a look at the surface of a rocky world and an icy world with a brief glimpse of some first person footage, some concept art and renders for a field scanner device and talked a little about geological features and new flora coming to the game. It was an ok start to this new dev diary series but it was just ok. What we've seen of the planetary tech is undoubtedly beautiful but I didn't personally find the diary eye wateringly exciting and taking a look at the community reaction across the board it seems to be about the same. In fairness to Frontier they have somewhere between 5 and 8 months to fill showing us what Odyssey will contain and so it makes sense that they wouldn't want to show the entire deck of cards just yet. Off the back of an article reflecting the developer diary written by the website Polygon there is more speculation than usual flying around about how much of the ship interior will be able to explore if any at all. The bottom line with that discussion is essentially that Frontier aren't talking about that publicly yet and until they are no one really knows the truth of it. The best of the press articles written in the flurry around the dev diary in our opinion is the one from IGN the bottom paragraph of which reflects what has been stated previously that we'll be interacting with NPCs from diverse settings to acquire missions that cover diplomacy, commerce, lethal stealth and all out combat. It's going to be fascinating to hear and see more about that stuff going forward it just isn't going to be yet. There were some high hopes after the dev diary that the Discovery Scanner livestream would provide more information and we did get some new information. There will be a new elite ranking to gain in the field of exobiology which will utilise the handheld field sampling device that was shown in the dev diary but despite an appearance from David Braben and a chat with senior designer Darren Halil the hour long livestream was very light on any other details, spending 15 minutes of its running time re-showing the developer diary 3 times, inviting questions from the audience and then not really addressing those questions in any serious regard. All in all the livestream it has to be said left us here and the majority of the people in our discord somewhat deflated and dare I say it disappointed. As is often the case with things like this there is a colossal gulf between the weight of community expectations and what Frontier is ready to publicly air and as I've already said there is somewhere between 5 to 8 months still to fill with dev diaries, livestreams and of course actual gameplay reveals. Those new details can't come soon enough. As some of you may know already I'm very pleased to announce that we've been brought in by Frontier as content creators to collaborate on the release of Odyssey going forward so rest assured that as soon as Frontier release any news, footage or details on anything Odyssey related we'll be able to report it here on this very channel. The AXI announced the series trial season 2 event this week. 
The trial which demands a Thargoid Cyclops kill, meta alloy recovery and clearing a signal source of Thargoid scouts all while the clock is running will start on the 6th of September and run until the 20th of September. Up for grabs are unique ranks on the AXI Discord and some serious bragging rights. Check out the AXI webpage dedicated to the event linked below for more details. And Commander Exegius announced the Elite Dangerous Colonia Speed Run this week in partnership with the Buckyball Racing Club and Frontier Developments. The Speed Run is a race from the bubble to Colonia with both engineered and unengineered ships with ship skins and gift cards up for grabs for the winners. The competition is running right now and you can submit your entry up until the 6th of September. Check the link in the description below for more details. And finally this week if you participated in the AXI Art of War community goal recently and delivered a Thargoid heart then there is now a fresh decal waiting to be slapped on the side of your ship at your nearest convenient livery yard. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.